So I get this, I get this email from Gloria, because see, we've been friends like since the early 70s when she was 19 years old. <laughs> and she came to Dallas and listened to me. She had long hair that you could sit on. She was <laughs> appearing at the, uh, the... No, the Hyatt. Was no, it, it wasn't. It was the Cabana. On, it, when, oh, it, oh, when I first came. And in Nero's Nook. Yes. Do you remember? Oh, my word. And you sang Jet Plane. Leave it on a jet plane. I never heard it sound. Anyway, so we became friends. And you and Ron came. Ron, no, no. Because Didn't I wasn't with Ron? Ron then. Oh, you came later. That was when later. Channel 8 on a okay. show called News 8, etc. But anyway, you've been there with Ron and everything. Okay, so here's the thing. She's written this amazing book. And it's about coincidence. Yes. And you are a strong believer in this. And I believe, if I can say this properly, you don't believe there really is such a thing as coincidence. Give it another definition. Well, OK. Um, coincidence appears to come out of the blue. And sometimes there are things that are just coincidings that are not don't have much meaning for us. But So we can say, oh, that was a weird coincidence, and toss it off. But if it's meaningful for you, it might have a message or, or um, uh, some information for you that you could take and use. So I had a series of extraordinary coincidences in my life, and along the way I was recounting one of them. Um, I met the benefactor um, who helped me raise, in Houston, who helped me raise a million dollars for diabetes research after I promised my son Brennan when he was diagnosed that I would find a, help find a cure for diabetes. And I created this Days of Our Lives cookbook, and I had everything ready to go, but no money to pay for the printing. And 24 hours before I met the man, Ben Rogers from Beaumont, Texas, who helped me raise the money to pay for the printing, a little card that said, expect a miracle, showed up in my dressing room. Now, there was nothing on it. Was it handwritten? Nope. It was printed. Expect a miracle. Somebody put it underneath my bag in my dressing room. And I picked it up, and I, I looked, and I thought, well, this, where did this come? This isn't mine. And I went to throw it in the trash, and it was almost like something said, don't throw away a card that says expect a miracle. So I threw it in my carry bag, went to Houston. The next night, I met Ben Rogers. He, he helped me get the money I needed. And we raised a million dollars for diabetes research. Now, flash forward a couple years later, I'm telling the story to somebody like you. And I say, isn't that an amazing coincidence? The little card, meeting Ben Rogers, raising the million dollars. And this man said to me, yes, but you know, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. And I said, wait, 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 I got to write that down. What coincidence is what? God's way of what? Remaining? What does that mean? That is so cool. I didn't know Albert Einstein said it. Mm -hmm. Albert Einstein. So what happened was over those next years, I started to be more aware because I had this idea in my head about coincidence and remaining anonymous that the divine power was somehow working our connection to it. Mm -hmm. And so I started to be more aware and I started to see how things were coming into my life exactly what that I you needed. needed. I needed at the to moment know you needed at it. At the moment I needed and it. And it may not be an, an, a thing, it may be a person, a it may be a situation. phrase said to you that changed your thinking. Exactly. So would you say this is coincidence or divinely ordained? I don't know about ordained. They, be, uh, you know, there's some people who believe everything's planned. I don't know that because then how do we either. fit into that? I know, I don't so know. So I know that we are a participant in the creation of coincidences because whatever our issue is, whatever we have Velcro for, we will attract. Mm -hmm. We will, if we're certain that we're uh, not good enough, we will see, notice, and attract people who will remind us how not, not good, good enough, enough we are. We are. <laughs> That's and true. As soon as we change at that idea, as long as we see it. Now, I'll give you an example. My niece, um, Josanne, um, is an adult woman, and she had a series of what she called lousy boyfriends. And she finally went to a therapist because she just couldn't take it anymore. They kept disappointing her and abandoning her and betraying her. And she said, why do I have all these lousy boyfriends? And the therapist very wisely said, what do all of them have in common? <laughs> and Josanne looked for a minute, and she went, me. <laughs> she said, yes. Why do you think you're, how, what, tell me about your childhood. Well, she had two alcoholic parents who betrayed, abandoned, dis disappointed, didn't show up. So she you picked know. people who betrayed, so she abandoned. Kept, she was recreating what she, somehow what she was comfortable at a subterranean with. level she mm -hmm. thought she was deserved. Mm -hmm. It was home. Mm -hmm. She was home. When it was she her had, comfort level. Even though it was uncomfortable, it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. So coincidence, the coinciding of meaningful events will bring into our lives what we we need to notice so we can fix it. Coinciding the of meaningful events. That's what it is. 
That's what it is. If it's meaningful for you, if That's it's right. not meaningful, no, but, if but it's even the happened, things that aren't meaningful at the time may, because of that occurring, become meaningful. Could it could? I mean, okay. <gasps> both my both my mother's husbands. She was married to my father, and then she was married to. They both died at 9 p.m. on June 28th, two years apart. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a coinciding. It doesn't have meaning for me. Uh, maybe it has meaning for my mother or for them. It might. But, but it's a coinciding. But it doesn't have inf information for me. But the, the secret with coincidence is if you see a pattern of coincidences, three people mention the same book to you, maybe you're supposed to yes, read it. Yes, you're supposed to get the book. Yeah. 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 And if the phone rings and somebody asks you to come, come. And if see that, what's there. If there's a pattern of... of uh, reoccurrence, something nags at you, comes back. Gee, I really need to call Susie. Well, I'll call her next week. Well, no, I'm glad no, you really called me. Call now, Susie. now listen, <laughs> we, because we've got to go to commercial, oh, and okay. you're going to be here this morning, and then yes. and then we're going to talk to you about how you stay so gorgeous. Oh, and then I'm going to ask you how old you are, and then I'm going to ask you if you had a facelift. <laughs> we'll be right back with Gloria Lauren when we return. Rascal.